What is going on, Dalt Squad, you guys? Today we're going to be going over some more Bastion action, you guys. Man, I love the sound of that. It rolls off the tongue. So good. So we went through the Pith Orchard the last time in attempts to find a core, and we actually found a shrine where you can make the game actually harder for you. The Bullhead Court. Okay, well, that must be the shield. So Fang Repeater and Shield. We'll have to work through those at some point. But Cinebrick Fort, we can try to find one more core. I want to find it so we can build up that next... Uh, Whatever that next building is, it's like some monument, memento, or something. I think it's where you actually put your shrine at the bastion. So I guess that way you can make the game harder or more difficult for you. But then you get better rewards. There's only one way to sit to break forth. And that's falling? Yep. Oh, the hard way. Sure, sure. <laughs> My way or the highway. Oh, how are you? Why can't I hit you? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. 50? Really? What a nice little house. The calamity was mercy. Oh, did not. Oh, oh. Yeah, sorry, buddy. The windbags ain't so lucky. Oh. Snipe show. Oh, what am I hitting? Oh, there's a pole there. They've been left to freeze or starve, or face the kid. <laughs> or face the kid. I wonder if we actually have a name. I remember our first impression, I always thought Bastion was our character. Oh, that hurt. Yep. Oh, that hurt again. We gotta get rid of some of these dudes. So many. What happened to that? I guess he just kind of feast. Oh. All right. Will windbags, young and old, keep fighting for the fort? Ooh. This guy's got some heat there. Nice. Is this the switch? Least the marshals left the kid oh yeah. Something the windbags just mm -hmm. Something that'll punch clean through their greasy eyes. Oh my lord. Oh my god. The AoE damage is so real. Oh yeah, no, definitely using this. Definitely using this. Windbags ain't much different than normal folks. All the wants are one place to stay. Oh. This thing is god. The weapons just keep getting sicker and sicker. I don't even know what I'm going to be able to use for weapons. I thought the bow was awesome, but this musket is god tier. The calamity drove the windbags topside. A lot of them wound up here. Look at that. Just gone. Gonzo. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Just pop every. Ooh, let's go the up! Two max health. Actually, in the long scheme of things, that's actually probably quite a bit. It's definitely made for AOE clear for like smaller things. Windbags can't use martial supplies, but the kids sure, kid sure can. Is there a musket one? Please tell me there's a musket one. Secret skill. Secret skill. Where is? Is there no musket skill? Man, that kind of blows. Kind of like the, um... Okay, I'm gonna be, I swear we found like a bomb. As for the in our last episode. Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. The fort ain't theirs by right. Ooh! This is definitely like when you, are uh, a gun where you roll away. Ooh. Yeah, see, it doesn't do a lot of damage against the big guys, but it's definitely something you can use as you roll away. Take a shot. There we so go. Many of those sorry things hold up inside that old fort. Oh wait, level three, we can get a new uh, potion or tonic thing from the distillery. 
no! Yeah, this thing is solely the purpose of being able to kill a whole bunch of little things at once. And I love it. So many- oh! How are you? Yeah, see, look at all those dudes just gone. Ooh! The nades. I wish there was a- I wonder if you can actually change the range on the nade. Because every time I throw it, it just seems to go. Although this could be an issue. Yeah. It is blasting everything in sight with that new fangled musket. Because it's a god! Only this sucks. There we go. That's the one downfall to it. These things suck. Can't even kill these dudes. Oh, you gotta just tap it right at the last second. And it'll always lock on. Okay. Come at me. Boom. See a nerd? Do I really have to use help? It gets that grenades is there for him, things get even worse. Even worse? Oh! Oh Jesus! Ooh, that hit hard there. Alright. Well, we definitely have a lot of enemies in this one. This is definitely the most we've faced in a while. He's got a flamethrower. Oh yeah, you can't hit me. Sucks to suck. It ain't afraid to get burned. Two left, I got tons of health. Oh my lord! That really hurt. I'll let the musket take care of him. The kid in the of the it actually takes a long time to level up, now that I think about it. Like a significant amount of time. This has been about, I don't know, four episodes until we've leveled up. Then they bring out Oh, those things are huge! They got something to gain, and only this are. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have any more grenades. Come on! Oh, I can't stand on that. I forgot. Oh, but at least he's really slow. Yeah, two fifty. Let's go. Oh, give me that HPs. Give me that HPs, though. So much health. Yeah. And what they lit off? Oh, I didn't even realize there was a spawner over here. Finally, I get some hand. Oh, all the money. Oh, we're at like eight hundo. That was great. The monies. Feed my wallet. What's this? Marshall's badge. He used to dream of getting Marshall's badge. Prestigious like symbol of the city's law enforcement. Cities of citizens respected and admired the marshals for their unwavering dedication to preserving peace and justice. Hmm. Sky is inside after that. Alright. Well and now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrick Fort. Did we not get a core there? Really? Really? I'm trying to think that there's just no cores anymore. Well, that's obviously a lie, but every time it tells us there. He shows up just as Zolf's own journey to the city. The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Hmm. 
Oh no, we did get a car. I lied. Much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Foundation. We can build a shrine or a memorial. Plans for a structure. I'm gonna go with the shrine, just because. The old, Ooh, new idols. What's this? Foes have vengeance in the throes of defeat. Hmm. So I guess they go straight and this one allows them to I don't know what allows them to have vengeance, I guess. What can we buy in here? Final warning, scrap musket skill. Booyah. Find us That's what I want. So let's go to the upgrades right now. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. There's something to do with the smoking pipe. All right, we got our final warning. Say yes, I know. Kids ready to get real personal with hammer and musket in hand. Nice. Fifty percent range, fifty percent spread, thirty-five percent last time. Hmm. Well, I did say that it's pretty much used for fifty percent range, fifty percent spread. Though that's a lot. Definitely getting more out of here. Plus, I was gonna say that it's definitely for AOE you clears. Want to tune a scrap musket, you start with the barrel. That's locked. Huh. Guess we're missing some more materials. Although, let's head up this distillery here. <clears throat> Stray fragments, chance to carry on if defeated. Huh. Oh, these ones are cinder brick stow. 10% speed. Ooh. 100% crit chance. Oh, only at 33% health. Huh. What's Red Drum do? 10% when at full health. I might just take this. I might take the Wear Whiskey, and then instead of having Red Drum, have this hearty. You bet, how often am I going to get hurt? Hmm. Although this looks nice. It saves a lot of time. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. I'll leave it as is for now. Whiskey has no scent, but tastes like a pepper boot heel. The pipe. Not for everyone. It seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was the smoking pipe. The smoking pipe, eh? Poor kid collapses after just one. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Bashing You Guys. It really means a lot for all you guys that are keeping up with this video series. Coming up on this Sunday, you guys, we're going to be starting our first ever Shout Out Sunday where we're going to be featuring those who are the most active on our channel to help give them a bit of, I guess, some re uh, reciprocating help, if you will. So we're going to be playing that next. To check out more of our Bastion gameplays, you guys, click the video playing. We're going to be working on some League montages coming up in the next few weeks as well, you guys. So we're pretty stoked for that as well. And thanks all to you guys again for all your support. It really means a lot. And until then, you guys, we'll see you in our next video.